then we have views all the views whatever got involved in this uh, application you can see it here views and again if you click on this view you'll get to know of what are the kind of here as you are seeing column name and the data type and the kind of nullable things in this view these are the these many columns are involved and you, you can see the code also so how this uh, view got created how, what are the tables and all those things you'll get to know over here so you'll get to know okay this is a table on this table this uh, view got created and this is a code what is written to create the view okay. you can do changes over here here itself let's say if you want to add one more table as emp and you want to use some where clause and all those things so you can do all your stuff and you can do just save and compile okay things will get compiled so if if uh, you'll get any error you'll get error message over here itself you have to rectify it and compile it again like that so this is okay. nothing but view i'm not saving it as of now okay then we have indexes all the indexes created on tables you can get here again when you click on index you will be getting index description the name of the index and type this is a schema name the table name table type i mean type of the database object so that is where it is table type and all those informations okay. when you will click on sql you will get to know the create command of this thing the this index when you click on statistics you will get to know what actually uh, how many times it got run or something like that so you'll start exploring it then you'll be start understanding it let's say if you want to disable this uh, uh, index you can do it from here itself just click on disable and it it got it 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 will get disabled now now you if uh, you'll uh, use the, the the dependent table so now this uh, index will not be able to apply uh, over there because it is already disabled you can drop it from here also Okay. okay so let's refresh this page and you'll get to know instead of disable you'll get another uh, button as enable okay let's refresh it let's go to the index the first index i don't know which index was that Yes, but you can do it from here also. Okay, it was first okay. Yeah, so you can disable and enable it from here as well. All right. Now let's okay. go to sequence. This will give you list of all sequences what got created over here. So again, the same so, so. kind of stuff. You can uh, get a sequence uh, description and the SQL command of the SQL also. Okay. You can uh, drop it from here. You can alter it from here. Let's say if you want to increase the cache size or the last number, you can do it from here out itself. Mm -hmm. We have types. Same way we have types. We have packages. So let's click on any package. So here you have. Uh, this is nothing but package specification. Okay. So we have a package called EBA Interact, and we have these. These are the functions. So this is one function this is another function this is another function stuff like that so this is specification and here when you come to body you'll get the body of this function this is a place something similar like sql developer exactly exactly yeah so yeah this is kind of uh, this object browser uh, gives us somehow similar experience as we have in sql developer okay yes Then procedure the same way you can see here the procedure stuff you can write your procedure you can do save and compile you can edit edit it from here itself and do save and compile okay same way functions and uh, again you can do edit and compile over here itself trigger mv and uh, this is another thing soda collection i don't know what is the exact use we don't use it at all this is i'm seeing it since last 
two three. I mean, since since four point two version actually. That is actually a JSON file collection, right? Uh, maybe, but I have never used it actually. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, these are the database objects. So these got populated when uh, this application got installed over here. Okay. So so what I was saying, as soon you'll remove the application from here, all these database object will get deleted from your object. They will get deleted from here. If you want to, sh if I I'll show you. I'll show you later. Okay. So now uh, our job is to unlock this application first to see what okay. is there in this application. So let's click on this unlock and okay. uh, click on unlock application. And now you can see installed bracket man unlocked. You got it. Okay. okay. Now let's run this application again. As you can see, we do not do not we cannot see any edit edit page edit application uh, option option over here. Let's uh, run uh, refresh this page now. And as you can see, we got this black window black pen. Yeah. Yes. So this is our edit place. From here, we used to edit the page. Okay. Okay. So we have unlocked the uh, this application. Now we can edit it. Okay. Okay. Yes. So this so whenever you will be installing any application from packaged app from this app gallery, you have to unlock it to edit it actually. Okay. But if you're okay. creating your own application, in that case, no need to edit it. All right. No need to lock it. No need to. I mean, you 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 are you are not going to get any option like manage. Now let's see. Now see what what is happening when you're uh, when you are clicking on this. So initially it was locked. You are getting this yeah. icon is locked. Now it is edit. It got changed. Okay. And when you will click on this, you will not get those options now. That uh, authentication change and manage and edit. So you are directing uh, coming out, come, reaching out to this place. These so all oh, these pages are, are yeah all these are the pages which is uh, written for this application actually and every page is having some some sort of code. Uh, click on this, if you'll see, this is a backend of the page. So this is how all the, all the things are written. Okay, I'll explain you these things uh, in in descriptive way. No worry about that. So yes, so this is what happens. Maybe I'll write it here so that you'll not forget. So, whenever you install packaged app uh, from app gallery, you have to unlock it to get the edit feature okay and whenever you will uh, whenever you will install package app from app gallery all database objects will get created and populated automatically and if you delete Whenever you will remove package tab, then what will happen? All database objects will get deleted. Okay. These are some points. Okay. Okay. Back to our application. Yes. So this is about uh, this thing. So now. Uh, now let's uh, uh, let's see how to remove it. Okay. 